basically optimal capital structure theory is talking about the balance and the value that debt financing and equity financing can add to an organization of course to administer an organization to achieve this balance is very delicate and a bit technical it requires vigilance but there are a lot of theories this particular theory of homogeneous assumption may be classified under traditional theory there are a lot of other theories and assumptions but basically the aim of this particular discourse is to talk about the homogeneous expectation and maybe at the end of this discourse i may critique it especially for those of us that need the knowledge for advanced level of financing and accounting education this is g james associate channel my name is benga olatunji fca traditional theory of capital structure actually says that a firm's value increases to a certain level of debt capital uh, after which it tends to remain constant and eventually it begins to decrease if there is too much borrowing just like in la local parlance say too much of everything is bad okay so the too much of the debt financing now decreases the value after the debt tipping point has been reached. That is, there is a point at which it becomes bad for the organization's value. It no longer adds value. So, and it's as a result of what we can call over leveraging or to make it simple over indebtedness of an organization over borrowing okay having said that in the context of optimal capital structure now in the context that we are looking at homogeneous expectation refer to the assumption that all investors or all of us the market participants have the same expectation regarding future cash flow risk of the organization and other relevant factors affecting the firm's value like i said maybe at the end of the day i will try and critique this assumption there are a lot of assumptions like there is one of the assumptions that said that 100 percent dividend payout ratio we are not looking at it to make it simpler. Let's take it one after the other. Next video could be on that uh, other assumption of 100% dividend payout. The optimal capital structure theory attempts actually to determine the ideal mix between debt financing and equity financing. Debt financing, we will be talking about preference share and the like okay for a company taking into account factors such as the cost of capital that is the return on on that capital to the investor in form of interest on borrowing and the like for example and the impact of the firm's value homogeneous expectation is one of the simplifying assumptions actually that we can think of when we are talking about optimal capital structure theory in the this particular theory to facilitate the analysis and the establishment of this model because every model every theory must be established on some assumptions especially when we are talking about social science in which we find ourselves so by assuming homogeneous expectation the theory assumes that all investors in the market evaluate the company's future prospect risk profile in the same way so now let me ask us a critical question 
<laughs> can all of us think alike? The answer is no. When we begin to think alike, it simply means the world has ended. That is the truth. But this is an assumption that we must lay to heart for optimal capital structure theory to work and for us to defend it. In other words, we are saying that they have the same expectation regarding the company's future capital, future cash flow rather, the potential growth of the future, probably profitability and other relevant variables. So all these assumptions allow for standardized analysis for the model that we are establishing of the firm and also the impact of different capital structure choices that the management, the people at the end of governance had made or will be making. It is important to note that in reality, and this is a critical question, that investors may have different expectations. We always, we do have different expectations and belief about a company's future performance. And these differences can affect the firm's value and capital structure decision because everybody will pitch their tent at different Holes because we are not thinking alike. We do not have the same information. However, assuming homogeneous expectation simplifies the analysis to establish the theory, don't forget, and serves as a starting point for understanding the trade-off that is involved in determining the optimal capital structure so basically optimal capital structure is talking or is under traditional world view of capital theory when we continue we'll be talking about modigliani one modigliani two and the like and students of strategic financial management corporate finance we need to be well grounded in all these theories and their differences. Benga Latunji, FCA has been speaking from Jijin's Associates channel. There are so more other assumptions that we can talk about, but it's good to make simple things simple and not make it complex, especially when, when it seems complex before. So I'm going to stop here and pick finance some other time next time we meet on another topic most likely the assumption of homogeneous expectation if you've received the value for your time now please click like first of all this video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell click all so that anytime we upload you will be the first to be notified so you will not miss out on any other edition Share this video to other platforms. Tell a friend to tell a friend that needs this particular knowledge. From Jujan Sassoshit, being our Latin FCA, we have value to life, we have value to your businesses.